Ladies and gentlemen, Aaron Johns is in the ring. Let's hear the man out. I'd like to recognize, of course, Mr. King. Who was PWK, and I guess HCW's here, represented by John Rosetto. Yeah! Well, he uh, could have called me and told me he was coming, bud. Here's the funny thing. I don't have to make phone calls when I'm part of the company. Uh, just yell it! Looks like I gotta buy new microphones, too. What's he talking about? So, uh, I own 50% of the company. Of what company? Of this one. Okay. It was up for sale. I made a purchase because old JR loves doing business. So, now I can torture... That man looks Hag nothing here, like Larry Hagman. And I can torture them in HCW, and all you can do is watch. <laughs> you know, Eric, what's going on with this? You know, I knew you were gonna pull some crap like this. I, I just had a feeling. I had a feeling. I have good lawyers. Oh, good lawyers? Great lawyers. <laughs> Here's the thing about your lawyers. You obviously didn't read that contract that you signed. Right now, I'm gonna introduce my special buddy. You might know who he is. Come on out, Austin. Hey! Ha ha, now what, Mom? Now what, Mom? Now what? I'm a smart man. You didn't think I was gonna, uh, you know, sign that contract I know who I was gonna sign it to, right? You know, you didn't think I was gonna do that, did you? Yeah, you did. Yeah, I did. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. You two own 50 51% of the company, but I got a little clause. Before I signed that company to you, I called a friend. They said, this is what I want. Okay. This is what I want. That badge you said that Tony Thunder would never get? Never. Never. Sorry. It was a clause. The only way you got 50 51% of the company was if I got what I wanted. Tony Thunder, Tony Thunder will have a world title shot for the ACW World Championship. You can't. It's in, my ring. it's in my ring. You can't do it. Yeah, but I said, I'm not going to make a liar out of you. It's not going to be an ACW ring. Nope. It's going to be in a UWF ring. No, 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 no. That is a huge announcement for UWF. Hold on. Sorry. You guys are a little simple. This is business. On many levels, Tony Thunder getting an HCW title shot. In a UWF ring, and that man John Rosetto owning 51% of the company now. Go make your little baby phone call. We don't give a shit. Enjoy the show, Johnny Rose. And don't at me. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. What is a triple threat match? You heard the announcer. This is a triple threat match. For our opener, I am JV Vernola. This is, of course, the Superkick Network. From the Midwest to the world, the home of independent wrestling. And you can hear the music now. You know who is going to be coming through the curtain. Making his way from Terre Haute, Indiana. And showing that even though he is in his home state, he has no love for anyone here in South Bend. In the shadow of Touchdown Jesus. Waving to the fans almost sarcastically. Not going to find many friends out there. And is definitely not going to find a friend with this man representing the GK fam. And 
there you see the man Prima Donnie ready for action here incredibly hyped up and Dalton Davis already trying to start the mind games as you could see there a few moments ago Excalibur going to be giving up a weight and height advantage to both men. fans here with some unkind words that I would not be able to repeat for APHD. Excalibur looking for a medical doctor or maybe a medicated doctor. Can find both today. Excalibur asking for social distancing from his opponents. Neither one of them having its stereo super kicks there from Davis and Prima Donny, and that is how we get this match underway. Social distancing be damned. A great show of respect there from those two men. Not what I was expecting after seeing Davis flip everyone off. Incredible agility from Dan Donnie. Lucha bypass there into a leapfrog. Davis showing agility of his own, taking a bow here in South Bend. Avoiding the big forearm there, off the ropes again. The single leg drop kick taking Donnie down. And Davis here in control here in the early going, showing he has agility of his own and smartly Focusing on both opponents here, not giving either man any chance to recover. One count only, Prima Donna, Prima Donnie, able to kick out. I'm going to botch that name a lot tonight, guys. Irish Whip, Excalibur has him up, spine to the pine. Davis feeling the effects of that. The fans here in South Bend loving it at Monarch. Off the ropes. Standing moonsault. Nobody home. Just barely caught Davis with the feet there. Definitely didn't catch enough of it. And Excalibur is feeling the effects of that miss. No one was home for Excalibur on that standing moonsault. Prima Donnie back in the ring. Follows it up with a forearm. Ringing Excalibur's bell there. And another flying forearm smash right to the head. This man is on Dream Street right now. Irish whip off the ropes. Scoop and a slam. And he does not miss with his standing moonsault. Here's a cover to Davis with the senton breaking it up. Prima Donny could have had the three count there. We will never know as Davis broke it up. And a kick right to the spine. You can hear it reverberate throughout the building here at Monarch. Oh, 
Getting Donnie back up on his feet. Knife edge chop there from Davis. Fans here adamantly booing the man. And an open chop right there. Showing he's a master of both kinds of chop. Into the European uppercut at the last moment. You see the FTF hashtag around Dalton Davis's arm. I can only assume what that means, and again, it's nothing I can say on the air. Let's just say it is a movement I am quite familiar with. Another European uppercut, this one from Donnie, showing Dalton Davis he can lay the leather with the best of them. Warning the referee there is Prima Donny Davis not wanting to go on this ride, doing what he can to fight out of it. Sends Donny back to the mat with those kidney shots. Donny very quickly back up on the second rope, though, both being joined by Excalibur. A double Spanish fly. It looks like one of those men may have landed on his head. All three of these men feeling the effects of that. Incredibly dangerous, high-risk offense here. Has all three men down. Referees count up to four. Going with the New Japan rules here, I am assuming. If they are all knocked out, it is called a draw. Davis, all three men back up to their feet. Having a south-of-the-border standoff here, it looks like. Trading lefts and rights with all three of these men right now. Amongst all three men. Excalibur on Dream Street. Strikes Donnie. Donnie striking Davis. They are going in a circle. Or triangle of strikes. There is another super kick from Dalton Davis. And an enziguri. No. Davis is able to avoid it. Has Caliber in the corner now. X able to reverse it. Death Valley driver. That has to be it. Rolls over for the cover. One, two. And Donnie is there at the last moment to break up that count. Another near fall there that we will never know the true result of thanks to the third man in the ring breaking the count up. Caliber taking issue with the count. Donnie taking them down. Here's the cover. One, two. And a double stomp from Davis. Again, able to break the count up. And that is just an incredibly stout man. Davis doing what he can to fight back to his feet. Prima Donny just pawing at him. Like a cat toying with his prey. Stereo birds for each other. Davis able to block two attacks there. Prima Donny up and a pile driver. Here's the cover. Referee saying the shoulder up. One, two, Caliber trying to break it up and just cannot. And there is the bell. The timekeeper just a little slow on the reaction. Your winner. Dalton Davis. Dalton Davis, as the ring announcer said. And the fans here in South Bend not happy about it. Prima Donnie not happy about it. Excalibur coming up just short and breaking up that count.
Prima Donny taking issue with the fans here, telling them all to shut up. And it is main event time here on the Superkick Network. Obviously, this is the man of the hour, Tony Thunder. A little earlier this evening, we found out that this man, thanks to the negotiating skills of his brother in crime, Aaron Johns, was able to secure an HCW title shot in a UWF ring. But of course, John Rizzotto now a part owner of UWF, the majority owner. And we can take a look back at that from earlier this evening. No, I own you two own 50%, 51% of the company, but I got a little clause. Before I signed that company deal, I called a friend and said, this is what I want. This is what I want. That match you said that Tony Thunder would never get? Never. never. Sorry, it was a clause. The only way you got 50%, 51% of the company was if I got what I wanted. Tony Thunder, Tony Thunder will that was earlier tonight. This is what Tony ha Thunder has in front of him tonight. With that Adam Bueller Memorial Championship. One hundred and sixty pounds from Greencastle, Indiana. There is the man. Chris Gordon. Tony Thunder, of course, having the same match preparation he has every time. I was actually back there drinking with him. We had a lot of fun, actually. Tony Thunder is a great friend of mine. I will try not to be biased here. Thunder already looking a little woozy. That is very... Very unThunder like. My man can usually handle his liquor. He's already looking three sheets to the wind, though. Gordon looking ready as always, able to avoid that strike from Thunder. This is just. Again, not Thunder like. And flinching there. What the hell is going on? There you can see Aaron Johns chalking, checking on him, chopping it up. Thunder asking for a timeout almost. Telling Gordon he can't do this right now. What the hell is going on with Tony Thunder right now? Oh, okay. Just a little bit of possum, a little poke to the eyes, and a hard stiff 
European uppercut there. Follows it up with a forearm. Coming off the ropes. It tripped up after that drop down from Chris Gordon. Maybe that wasn't a game of possum earlier. Again, I have no idea what the hell is wrong with Tony Thunder right now. I was in the room drinking with him. That room we was drinking in just a few moments ago. Able to kick out at one. Still has the wherewithal to realize he is in a wrestling match. And this is... This is just strange. And again, telling Chris Gordon he can't wrestle. I have no idea what the hell is going on here. Gordon trying to roll him up. Thunder kicking out. And now he's up. And yes, that is exactly what you thought you saw. Tony Thunder just threw up. He is, he is drunk, ladies and gentlemen. That is very unThunder-like. Quite unThunder-like. He can usually hang and handle his drinks with the best of them. We were at the bar the other day. Gordon and the referee have no idea what to do here. Gordon, you just got to roll the man up and pin him. Thunder trying to get back to his feet. Rolls up Chris Gordon. Gordon able to kick out. Thunder. Still doing what he can to win this match. To his credit. But you can tell right now, he is just in no condition to be in the ring. This is almost shades of a title match that ended in 90 seconds with a reverse DDT. Thunder still has some of his wits about him though. Sending Gordon rolling to the outside. Thunder. Again, he can barely stand on his own feet. And Mitchell Taylor just came from behind. Mitchell Taylor has him up and right onto the apron. All of this behind the referee's back. Referee had no idea that any of that was going on. He was counting Chris Gordon out. Gordon with the roll up. Two, three. Even with Tony Thunder, three sheets to the win. It took interference from Mitchell Taylor for Chris Gordon to win. I have no idea what the hell is going on with any of this. I don't know what is wrong with Tony Thunder. Trying to get some Gatorade, trying to get some electrolytes back in him. Fans, we are done. We will see you next week.